Today we are buying the oldest gold mine in the Rocky Mountains. This thing was started in 1848 by James Marshall and his whole family was built on this place. It's currently got the richest deposit of pay dirt that we've ever seen. Let's see if we can make money. Okay, okay, welcome back guys. We have one of the craziest videos probably ever. One of the most exciting for me personally, but where is Nate at? I gotta, he's gotta hear this too. He doesn't even know about this. Nate, come into the office, follow me. What'd you buy now? Also, definitely check out American Farming, which is my mobile game. If you guys are interested in agriculture, it's the game for you. Definitely check it out. Link down below. It's available on Google Play and the App Store. Thanks, guys. Does the name of James Marshall ring a bell? Yeah, somewhat. So he was one of the first gold miners ever. Originally based out of California, but moved over here to the Rockies and started a gold mine. I found out that thing is 20 miles north of us. And I found a family member that owns it. I made them an offer, 200K cash. They just accepted it. We now own this thing. It's the most historic gold mine known to mankind in the area, we'll call it. And they just sold it to you for 200 grand? For 200K, there's a deposit of gold. It's not much pay dirt, but I think we can pay for this place. We can clean it up. We can run it as a small gold mine and just see how we can do with it. And also it's got so much history behind this place. Like, I'm not saying we'll go big, but we can make some good money. I mean, have you ever known us not to go big? Sometimes, sometimes, we'll, we'll see. You see those three mountain peaks over there, Nate? Yep. The left peak in between those valleys is where this place is. It's about 20 miles north of here. It's gonna be tough getting there. We gotta figure out a way over there. The story behind it goes, the reason this place ended, his like great, great grandkid, that the one I bought it from was telling me about this and it sucks to see is that they got robbed. They got robbed for everything in the 1860s. Some people came through, they took everything. They were wiped, they had to get out of this place. They had to move to a town and just get different jobs. Like they lost everything. So this place is abandoned from the robbery. So I don't know what's up there. I don't know how creepy it is. I just know the last time this place was touched was when this gold mine was robbed back in like 1960 or 50 or something like that. So Did they take equipment or just the mine? I think there's money? equipment there. We'll see though. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm more worried about getting there. I mean, that's more concerning to me. We'll see. Because I mean, I've, I've heard stories of people. There's been people uh, trying to get up there and there's yeah, yeah there's graves alongside the road for a reason exactly so that's what i'm more worried about but we can try okay me and nate are stopping by our house quick we need to be prepared for days and days without coming back to the gold mine like if something bad happens we need to be prepared so we're grabbing like a bunch of canned food all sorts of supplies pew pews if you know what i mean and some other stuff and of course the camper and this is a little crazy but we need to bring the skid steer with all the attachments um we need to start clearing this place as soon as we get there nate you say goodbye to the family i mean yeah you say goodbye to buck he quit answering my text messages <laughs> so i quit talking that to son of a gun and we're off it's gonna be gravel dirt mud rock running over animals bears the whole way up there so we got to keep our eyes peeled this thing seems to be pulling pretty good though I'm liking this setup. We already got a hill climb in front of us and things are about to get pretty crazy. We got a bridge. Oh boy. This bridge is actually in pretty good condition, surprisingly. Nate, left or right? I left. Dude's about falling asleep over there. I don't know about you, but it's starting to get a little dark. What time sundown? With these valleys, we're not gonna be able to see though. That sun's gonna go down pretty quick. Earlier than what it should be. This is beautiful down here. Oh boy, we got a pretty steep hill climb coming up. I, I just need to be full throttle going into this. Otherwise, we won't make it. Come on, 450. Get up here. Oh, this is sweet through here. Oh, my gosh. Look at that view. You can just... This just goes on forever, this trail. It's in decent condition, though. That's the thing. Okay, we're still not even there. Nate, what do you say? Do we keep pushing it? What do you got your sunglasses on still? Hey, let me be cool. Okay. I think we still keep going, though. And yeah, there's no better way to keep doing it. I can barely see the road in front of me. The fog's setting in and stuff. We'll see, though. Is that a waterfall? I can't see crap right now. That Sounds like one, I tell you that much. Okay, we'll just keep it slow. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just keep going. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Are you scared of the robbers that's in the hills? The path just ends, Nate. The path just straight ends right here, man. What's that map saying? It looks like there's a trail through here, dude, but this is getting creepy. It says we still gotta keep going. And you're sure we're on the right trail? About 30% sure. Okay, well, it's getting rough through here, dude. There's like a crick right now. Don't get stuck. Do not get stuck right here. Oh. Come on. It's a bit rougher than I thought it was going to be. Nate, we're sitting on top of a side hill right now, dude. Are you sure this is the path? I mean, 
This, For this I seems see, stupid. It looks like it. We've been going 30 miles. This is only supposed to be 20 miles north, though. We haven't found this thing still. Yeah, I agree. We, we may okay. need to go ahead and call it a night. Hear me out. We, figure yeah, it out we, in the morning. we pull off, sleep, wait for sunrise, and keep going. And we'll just go five more miles north and see if we can find this thing. Yep, that sounds good to me. I got a bunk in the front. He's got a bunk in the back. We're going to sleep this thing out, guys. Hopefully nothing, nothing comes up on us in the night. There's a lot of coyotes and wolves. You know, the DNR released wolves out here now. Have the jerky. Okay, Nate. Night. We'll see you in the morning. This guy. I can't even sleep. <sighs> well, you sleep good? So like a baby. You snored like a baby and a half, too, man. I didn't even get any sleep. You're snoring the whole time. I don't know what you're whining about. You chose to sleep in the same camper. True, true. So this is where we ended up, I guess. Here's the crick. Do you think we're still on the right path? Yeah, I mean, it looks like the it's coming to the end up here. Okay. Nate, is that it? Is that it? Please tell me that's it, Nate. I mean, there's only one gold claim on this river right now, so I believe this must be it. This has got to be it, guys. This has got to be it. This is like discovering our first gold, baby. I can't believe we found this place. Okay, so here is the place we bought. Now, I got to give you guys a historic rundown on this place. I've only seen one photo of this place before I bought it. That's it. We didn't even check this place out before I bought it. I've seen one photo, so I'm not sure kind of what's all here. I just know some brief history. Oh, boy. Nate, there's a lot of pay dirt here, man. I wonder if this is tailings or if this is actual good. No, I think this is good pay dirt. They have two old sluice boxes that we're going to try and get up and running and using on this site. Here's the thing. We can't get big, heavy equipment back here. It's just too far, too deep in the mountains. There's no way. So this is why we're going to keep this profitable and small as we're going to use those two sluices. Okay, now when the Marshalls started this place in like 1850, they had horses. So I think this was their original like horse yard where they kept the horses up here. And then I'm not sure when this cabin was built. Hopefully nobody's living in here. But this cabin must have been built like a late 1800s, early 1900s. I mean, it's got some pretty new appliances in there too. So... It must be pretty new, and then I'm guessing this is the barn they use because they had to have livestock. They had chickens out here. They have a little chicken hut out here too, too. And I mean, these guys lived out here. The reason this place is all like jam-packed close together is because they used to get crazy amount of snow over here. So some snowstorms would be all the way up to the top of this cabin. You need to keep all your buildings close and close to your house, otherwise you're not gonna be able to get to them in a snowstorm. You know, when you get five, six feet of snow. So that's the reason everything's like all jam-packed close together here. This must have been added all. I'm guessing like the 40s or 30s, this building. Oh, what is this, Nate? Uh, it looks like an old dozer. Is it a cat? I see, uh, yes, it is. This is an old school bus on logs? What the heck is this thing? It's got some cabinetry and, oh, dude, it's got a bed back there. Somebody used to live in this place. Are you serious? There's a fireplace right there for there, fire. There's a fireplace in this. Dude, this must be, I mean, this looks like a bus from the 40s or 50s, I'm guessing. Look at that. It's got one headlight. And then they got, oh my gosh, they got a tree growing through their lean to building. And they got some too. They got like an old grader here. This must have been like brand new, but right before they left this place abandoned. They got a grader and then they got like a wheel loader here. I'm surprised the robbers didn't take that though. Why wouldn't you take that? Or maybe they just took the gold and they just ran. And they got this old tent here. Dude, I think this is somebody else's. You can't have a tent standing still after like 50 years. There's a fan, a generator. Yeah, this is somebody else. Somebody is, else has been mining here. This has got to be somebody else. I don't know if they're mining or like a family vacation or what. Oh, yeah. Let's pack up the kids and go to the <laughs> local gold mine for vacation. That's a great one. You never know, man. And I think that's it. This would have been crazy mining in the 1850s. I mean, you would have had nobody for like 150 miles, 200 miles away from you. Is I think the nearest town. That is crazy. Hold on. I got an idea. Can we relocate Brendan to this mine and make him the... <laughs> Uh, mine operator here he might like it dude exactly get him away from us we don't gotta deal with him anymore he still makes us money win-win he might like it yeah what's up hey you at the mine yeah i'm here okay long story short we purchased an abandoned mine again up north like 20 30 miles up north along the river can you bring a skid steer and like all the attachments up here we have one currently up here but that's all you're gonna be able to bring you're not gonna be able to bring anything bigger it's tough getting through here just bring your pickup truck a skid steer and like all the attachments yeah i can do that i'll be on my way in a second okay sounds good see ya Okay, sounds like Brody's coming up here. I'm going to get the skid steer off here. We're going to start mowing and like clearing once he gets the attachments here. This spot so we can get all this cleared up, get all the trees out of here, and get this thing organized. We'll get the bobcat off the trailer. There we go. 
And there he is. He made it. Oh, yeah. What are we doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? A long story. You know a guy named James Marshall? Ring a bell? A little bit. He was the first gold miner ever in the Rockies. And he oh, owned really? this place. Yep. Okay. I came in contact with one of his relatives and just bought this place straight up from him. And this is looks like really rich Peter along here. So we're going to try and mine this place. All right. Okay. So Brody delivered all these attachments to us. So I'm going to first start by taking this brush mower. And honestly, I wish we had two of these. But we're going to start clearing like all this grass and stuff. Just make this place look real nice, organized. And then I think they might try and dive into some gold or start clearing some of these trees. Kind of organize some things better. So I'm just going to come along here and then mow all this let's see i wish i could turn off all the uh the grass clippings that'd be nice this mower works super good we got high flow hydraulics on the skid steer and just mows it all down here this is working awesome okay i gotta go help nate real quick guys you getting her nate yep I'm trying to get her started does he even have juice yeah, she has diesel. She'll be fine. Batteries have? No, yeah, they've been set uh, for the 40 new years. In. Okay. Oh, you put new batteries in. Okay. Rule one of starting old equipment. New battery and ether. Okay, and yeah. And try her. Come on. There you go. Come on. There it goes. You got her. There she goes. She's actually firing. Heck yeah. Yeah, the hydraulics need a little bit more hydraulic oil, but we can get that fixed put her, real fast. Put her in gear. Oh, let's see. That's first gear. Oh, my Slow. gosh. This thing actually runs. This thing oh, actually yeah. runs. Well, what do you expect when you put something underneath the shed? Okay, awesome. We got that. And then Brody also got a second mower, so he's going to keep mowing with his skid steer over there. And we're going to clear this place up. Okay, so some of these trees are, like, going through the roofs and sheds on accident. Um, I'm cutting them down, and then Nate's going to use a dozer and just push them away. Nate, maybe don't push them in the creek, Nate. And we ain't gonna touch this part of the creek for a long time. Okay. If ever. This bush hog just eats, man. Look at this. The bushes are just basically magically disappearing. Nate's cutting down some more trees over there. And this tent area. We got to figure out who the heck's sleeping here. Who the heck's around here. Okay, we're getting there. We got the place pretty well mowed down and cleared. There's still some stuff I'd like to clean up in the back here. But Nate needs help getting this wheel loader started here. What are you thinking? I need somebody to jump on inside the cab. There's two wires back here that I'm going to have to connect together. Okay. So I'm going to have to hold these together while we're starting it. Okay, you ready? All right, let me hold them together. Okay, watch yourself. Don't spark yourself. Here we go. Yep, oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. It wants to go. Come on. Come on. You gotta get it. This stuff's really starting to spark back here. There we go. There you go. All right. We'll close She's that running. Up. That back. All right. She's running. See how good she does. Pull her on out. Dropper in gear. No flat tires, too. Uh, this one needs a little bit of air put into it, but not really. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna work pretty good. Okay, next thing, guys. What do you say we dig into some pay dirt? See what we got there. Let's go. uh, that sounds good. Okay, I'll put the bucket on the skid steer, switch out the mower, and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so we've got the bucket here. We'll get that attached, and we'll grab a little pay dirt. Nate's going to fire up that thing. Oh, has he already got some pay dirt? Nate might already have some pay dirt. I think he does. Okay, so Nate's dumping pay dirt in here to run this thing. It's a Things are looking promising. Brody's got the other skids here. I'm going to hop in the Bobcat T76, and we're going to keep dumping in here. There we go. We'll dump that. I'll back out of here and let Nate go, and we'll dump another load. Okay, check this out, guys. So we already got a box of concentrate. We don't have anywhere to go with this, but it's got a lot of gold in it. We did it, guys. There you go. We did All it. Right, so we're done. Okay, so we got a box of concentrate. Now, the only way to figure out how much gold... Oh, we got another box that just spawned. The only way to figure out how much gold per like unit is in here is to take it back to our home place. So, oh, we got another box. One of us is going to have to run back and take this back here and get it tested. But this is looking probably like the richest box of concentrate that I've ever seen before. I'll have to get Nate's eyes on it. Brody, what are you thinking? It's looking really good. There's a lot of gold in there. I'm surprised, honestly. Yeah. Nate, what are you thinking? Visuals look pretty good but we won't know until we get the actual way in okay i'll make the sacrifice run her back to the gold mine and see what we got do you guys want to keep cleaning this place up yep we can do that okay i think brody's gonna put the pallet forks on and get us loaded we've got three boxes of concentrate already we're gonna have to get all this in the truck here this man has lost his mind letting brody have yeah. access to <laughs> i like I'm how I'm, up old, I'm always the one that's loading up gold and stuff don't screw it up man you got this oh, we're he gonna doesn't got it. this we've proven Dude, we got another box to concentrate. Oh my gosh, guys. We're so getting... I've got to load. I've got to load five boxes into one bed of the truck. Yes. One yes. Truck bed. 
Yes, okay. Dude, we are getting so much concentrate right now, guys. Way more than our other mine was getting even. This is insane. I think we might have just paid for the mine right here. We're going for redemption here. Taking it nice and slow. Just make sure you know, if you drop any of those boxes on top of that skid steer, you're cleaning it up. I have to and clean it up? Yes. There you go. Oh. Just lift her up. You'll be good. All right. There you go. We got this. Oh, well, it's, oh. it's in there. Um, no, 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 no. He's just loaded the other pallets. Don't uh, shove it down and make it easy on him. Go ahead. Load the two other pallets, bud. We got this. We got this. We just got to be extra careful. There you go. All right. Just push him in there a little bit. Oh, oh just a little more. Going. Keep going. You told me to keep going. That's your fault. I mean, it's technically it's loaded. It's in there. Strap it down. <laughs> it's in there. Okay. We got it loaded up by the one and only Brody Farms. Perfect. Couldn't have done any better. Okay, we finally made it back. So we're gonna run this through the gold washroom over there and see what we get. Okay, we've got one already. I'm looking at my gold analysis over here on the computer and I'm estimating we're gonna get about three pallets of gold, which usually we only get like two pallets of gold out of this stuff and we're getting more concentrate over there, which means this new mine is gonna be like two or three times more profitable than this mine currently, which is insane profitability. So we gotta figure out how to keep running that mine. Nate, you there? What's going on? I just ran it. This stuff is two to three hundred percent more dense with gold than our other pay dirt right now. We got about like three boxes out of that. Three pallets. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what you want to do. I'm heading back to the mine. We'll figure out a game plan from there. Yeah, this stuff is some good stuff. So I'm going to head on back now. Sounds good. We'll come up with a game plan and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Okay. Meantime, boys, come over here. We'll meet in the tent. Do we know whose tent this is? Random nope. persons. That's the thing. Oh. What are you guys thinking with this mine? Do we build here? Do we kind of keep expanding a little bit? Or what do we do? We can run this profitable and not expand at all, too, at the same time. Just run it with skid steers. I say if we're running, if we're making this much money with this, imagine how much money we would make if we went and put a full mine production. Because it does but show there's no. What happens here. if we run out pay dirt? I mean, I'm looking at a lot of virgin ground over there. It looks like a lot of pay dirt's over there. Mm, we'll right. see. If nothing else. We clear more land and we put it, we make another, we make a cut over here. We're like yeah. 30 miles away from our other mine, too. Build a whole new mine site over here. That that'd be the goal. Build we'll a whole see. new mine site away. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. This was like pretty cool to find an abandoned one like this. What do you guys want to see done to this? Do we expand like Nate and Brody were saying, or do we keep it small? Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see done. Definitely check out Brody's channel down below and Nate's channel down below. We'll see you in the next gold mine video. Peace.